Are you ready to check your final files on ACX, but not sure how? Then just sit tight. I'm here to show you. Stick around. Hey, everybody. Keith Wheeler here. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing a little bit easier to navigate, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out new content. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to review your first 15 minutes on ACX, and I'll include a link to it here. So, you've got an email telling you that your full project is ready for review. I'm going to walk you through the process, so I'm going to flip the screen around, and we're going to get started. I've logged in, and I'm going to click on In Production. So when I clicked on Production, this, here we go, and it says Locked for Review. So I click on this hyperlink, and here are all the files for me to review. Your narrator may do things slightly differently. Um, they may not break it down by chapter, uh, but they will definitely have opening credit file, and then my narrator did all the different chapters. It will definitely always have a closing credits, and then it will have a retail audio sample. This is what people will hear when they click the icon that says listen to a sample. That's what this is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to listen to each and every chapter, starting with the opening credits, especially when I get into the meat of the book, I'm going to, like I suggested in the previous one for your first 15, I'm going to listen to each one, compare it to the actual manuscript. I'm going to do that chapter by chapter, and I'm going to make a physical note, either on my phone or I'm probably jot down a piece of paper, of all the different comments that I have. Now, when I do that, I'm going to make sure that I put down the timestamp that that occurred at. It'll make it a lot easier for your narrator to fix that particular part. Because typically what they're going to do, unless you have a problem with the whole thing, they're probably just going to fix the little sections that you have issues with. So um, that's, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go through each one, one time, comparing it to the manuscript. And then I'll probably wait a day and go through and listen to each one without any manuscript in front of me. Just listening. The important thing that you need to do is make sure that, one, you have a good set of headphones to listen to. So you can listen for clicks and pops and everything else. And second, make sure that you have peace and quiet. So if that means, like this book is 57 minutes and 52 seconds... That means that I need to make sure that I have an hour where the dogs don't need to go out, the kids don't need anything, the wife doesn't need anything. Just let them know, I literally just need an hour. And I'm going to go through it, like I said, I'm going to go through it once with the, against the manuscript, and then I'm going to go through it probably tomorrow, maybe the next day, without the manuscript. So I'm going to do that, and when we come back, I will show you how to approve it or make messages or anything else. So stick around. And we're back. As I mentioned earlier, I went through and listened to each of these files multiple times. The opening and closing credits, I listened to once by themselves. And then later on, I listened to the whole thing. The chapter files, however, each of these I listened to three times. Uh, what I did was first I listened to each one against the manuscript, noting any discrepancies content-wise. Number two, I put it away and waited a full day. The next day I, got, I sat back and I just listened to each file. One by one, just listening to it, um, didn't even have the manuscript open. And I jotted down anything that sounded off. Like maybe I didn't like the way he worded certain things, the, the tone, the volume, whatever. When I was done listening through, I actually took an extra step. And this is what I call step three. And I do this for all of my longer books. And I downloaded 
right here you can click and you can download each of the mp3 files I then combine them all in Windows Movie Maker just so I can hear everything as a whole obviously it's gonna be a lot cleaner when the narrator is done combining it all but what this does is this allows me to compare chapters as they're going so something I may not have noticed when I listen to that specific chapter I may notice that when I hear the whole thing together that for example chapter 7 maybe his breaks that he's taking between paragraphs may be shorter or longer than he does for the other chapters things like that and again jotted all that down now I take all these notes if you loved everything then you don't have to do this but uh, you can click on request changes and it basically just pops up an email format and you just copy and paste all of your changes that you had and you put it in there and send it off to them now if you liked everything then you just click approve audiobook if you sent changes then basically they're gonna reply they're gonna tell you when the changes are done you're gonna listen to them all over again do those three steps and eventually you'll approve it so once you approve it now it's in the hands of ACX quality team they will take up to two weeks to approve the files after they approve it'll go live and you'll be notified via an email um, both in the system as well as an email to whatever your email account is that's linked to, the, to ACX um, once it goes live it'll be available on audible uh, Amazon and iTunes now when you finally get the email from ACX saying that it's live and that it's been approved be sure to ask for your free promo codes as of this recording which is March 2018 ACX provides authors with 25 free US promo codes in addition they also provide if you ask 25 free UK promo codes so be sure to take advantage of this that's it for today uh, what genre of book are you thinking about putting on audio uh, I'd love to hear about it put it in the comments below I hope you enjoyed the content please remember to give the video a thumbs up and if you want to get all of the hints, tips, and tricks to help self-publishing become a little bit easier, then be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified each and every time I put out new content. So until next time, remember to write right.